Joshua Pritchard has accused his fiancé's brother-in-law, Matthew Abrahamson, of violating a restraining order. Now, why in the world would you take a job at a place where you knew the person who assaulted you and who you were afraid to go out of the house because you were afraid to see frequents? Uh, because I had figured that with the restraining order in place that the casino would have taken steps to prevent uh, us being together. Also, uh, the fact that I only worked eight hours a day, I figured there were still 16 other hours in the day that he could come. What hours of the day do you work? I was working graves. What is that? Uh, grave shift, Your Honor. I was working from 11.45 p.m. until 7.45 a.m. Now I'll see your video. Okay, uh, it's actually a police report, Your Honor. I couldn't get the video without a subpoena, and the subpoena didn't come through in time. Um, but so I, the answer is you don't have a video of what happened in the casino? Uh, no, but I do have a police report here, Your Honor, detailing oh. what's in that video. Uh, well. You'll read it. This report doesn't help you at all, sir. Um, <laughs> that was... This report doesn't help you at all. That report was made less than 30 days after... I don't care. This report says that... So I will read it so Officer Bird, who I know would be interested in. I spoke with reporting party Joshua, that's you, who stated he had a, a restraining order against Matthew Ryan and he had it amended to include his place of work at a casino and that Matthew had to stay 100 feet away from him. Joshua stated that he advised the host to advise security that he was going to be working, and he wanted security to call Matthew and advise him of where he was going to be working. Joshua stated that he was working in the ash room, and Matthew came into that room to redeem his points for a set of flatware. Joshua stated that Matthew went to the next attendant, didn't go to you, and made eye contact with him and walked in front of him. Joshua stated that he told security on that day and had called to report it. I was informed by Deputy on May 13th that Joshua had contacted him personally on the issue and told the deputy that he wasn't sure if Matthew knew he was in there and not sure if he had made eye contact. He asked Joshua about this and he stated that he didn't say that, but stated that the casino had footage of the incident. I went to the casino and watched the footage. The video is not very clear, but Matthew does go into the room and was within 100 feet of him. So what? The restraining order says that he's not allowed within 100 feet of me. And Case is dismissed, Mr. Pritchard. We're done. Thank you.